I'm gonna jump right into this and I will be talking about gold stocks. As you can see, I have written down up to 35 gold stocks and let's just begin. If you see the X's, that means they failed. So half of this list is already gone. So uh, I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. EGO was a failed gold stock. HMY was a fail. AKG, it failed. Uh, my expectations. AU, this was a stock where I would consider going Vegas style and just jumping in, um, maybe jumping in and, you know, holding on to it for six months and just selling it. Um, so if you can see in my notes here, um, these are just really close, uh, really small notes that I wrote really, um, just shorthanded notes. Um, so again, a uh, six month growth period, which is, uh, to me, that's like a short term, uh, buy, hold, and then sell. Um, this one, uh, was very interesting. CMCL. Um, I watch listed this one. It has a uh, good potential. So anything that had potential, I pretty much watch listed it. Um, so again, as you can see, there's a few here and these two, in my opinion, I just decided to add to the portfolio, you know, watch list them and then, um, ready to, ready to go to think about buying these two. So, um, again, I wrote, uh, it says needs CF and share. So the CF cash flow, um, the cash flow isn't consistent and they don't have a lot of shares, but who knows, maybe next quarter, um, within that six month period, uh, it might change and they have good fundamentals and, uh, all of these, I did a uh, technical analysis as well. Um, a few of them and, um, but mostly a fundamental analysis and, um, I double checked with the technical analysis as well. And, um, everything seems good to go. So, the next one, IAG, it failed in my eyes. The reason I say it fails is because um, the company doesn't. These companies don't make any money. VGZ as well, a fail. Uh, earnings per share, they just failed, and everything was negative. So basically, it's a company that does not earn any profit. So that that's pretty much um, easy target to to knock right off the bat. Uh, Next one, GFI. This is another one as like a six month growth period. Um, in my eyes, uh, this would be like a buy, hold, and then sell six months later, very short term. <coughs> I can't remember the names, but again, I'm going over the symbols and you can uh, see I can't really have enough space to write down the name. So I kind of shorthanded everything, but very specific information. So you can actually see, understand, and um, learn as as we go here. Um, so the next one, uh, so I said GFI, six month growth, great to jump in and then let go six months later. And so KGC, in my eyes, uh, great growth. Um, I can't remember if I watch listed it. Um, it just, actually I did watch list it. Um, something to keep your eye on. Um, it doesn't have the potential. The reason the comparison between these two is because um, when I watch list it, it has good potential, but it, it's not good enough for a dividend. And this is what I like to go for. These two are dividends, and you'll see that later down in the in the charts. You know, in the list, I mean. So um, yeah, that's why I watch listed these because they have great potential. And then these two, um, I just like them. So I wrote great growth and I added that to the watch list. NGD, it failed. S A N D, I wrote it needs work. So uh, it has potential again to be a good stock, but right now, um, and maybe during the year, still early in the year, again, I'll give it a chance, see what happens, and maybe it'll get better uh, next quarter and see if it has a uh, staying power and pricing power and we'll just see what happens. Uh, KL, I wrote needs work and I specifically wrote ROE, return on equity. That means if I were to invest in the company, 
um, in order to get money back, it, the dividends might seem okay, but um, the share price, which is if I sell it, I'm, I don't want to sell it for a loss. I want to sell it for a gain. So basically, um, the equity return on the equity, which is the share price, um, I might lose out on the equity. So um, it just it's okay. It just again maybe later on in the year, um, it didn't have potential enough to it did not have enough potential to be on my watch list. So uh, I passed on it and I wrote it needs work. DRD, I wrote this says six month growth. So again, I'd consider buying, holding, and then selling this six months down the line. TRX failed. USAU failed. GPL failed all because of earnings per share and miss failed in quarters. Um, so I said GPL, okay, failed. GOLD, I wrote core. This is really good. And uh, what I mean by core is that um, the dividend is growing. The share price is growing. Good company, always beating earnings. Uh, really low debt, not like zero debt, but low debt, and um, just a really comfortable company. I could see myself um, adding this to my portfolio list, uh, maybe down the line, um, and it seems good so far. Uh, I have no complaints. So, next one, NEM. It says, needs work, and number two, good growth. Um, I did not add this to the watch list. So, okay. Um, again, something to keep my eye on, but it just needs work throughout the year. I might look at it at, in three months from now. If they did not report earnings yet, then I'll give it another, uh, month after that. So in total, instead of three months and they haven't reported earnings, I'll wait four months, maybe five until they report the next earnings and, I'll see where it goes from there. But again, they have good growth. Um, when I say good growth, it's usually the share price. And um, they're a stable and consistent company. They're, they are making money. And uh, it seems pretty good. Next up, THM. It failed. AGI, I wrote a needs $8 breakout. I did a fundamental analysis and it seems okay. And I couldn't decide um, just on fundamentals, so I really had to dig in. And the last time um, it had a breakout, I think maybe three years ago, and then the bottom was like between a $3 difference or $4 difference. So this talk, stock is really cheap, and basically I, I rated this as um, technical, and basically from what I found out from the technical standpoint, to me, to be interested and maybe add it to the watch list, it needs to have a eight dollar breakout. Once it has that breakout, then um, it, you know it'll give me an interest. BTG, six month growth again. I just maybe jump in, buy, hold, sell six months later. FNV, I wrote WL. That means watch list. Uh, that means Franco Nevada. This was mentioned uh, in the previous show that I saw in the Money Show. And um, basically, I got the idea to rank all these stocks since they kept talking about gold stocks. I said, you know what? A few days ago, I was like, I'll, actually, last week, I was like, you know what? I'll just try to. I'll, I'm, these are not ranked, by the way. These are all just all random orders. These are all the stocks that I found for gold. So I, I thought it would be a good idea to just rate them and see how they are. Uh, so FNV, I wrote overpriced, uh, the PE was too high. So basically in order to buy this, it's just too overpriced. It's like $120. I think um, I checked on, uh, Monday, but anyways, it's too much for me. I, I wouldn't buy this right now, but I have it watch listed. I wrote as a potential to be the core, but it also needs more cash flow. So basically I'm not ready to take a look at this and add it to portfolio and it just needs a little bit of work, needs some tweaking. Um, next up, EQX failed. PZG failed. RGLD, I watch listed this and I wrote a note here. The note I wrote was superb company, really good. PE too high and price too expensive. So basically I watch listed this. 
it has a potential to be a, a really good company to add maybe to the portfolio. It's just, you know, too expensive for my taste. So next up, WPM. This seemed like a good stock, but when you dig further in, it's just it's trash. It deserves a fail. And um it it was okay, but eh, it just yeah, wasn't good enough. So um I wrote on that one, the dividend payout is too much. That's why I wrote I, I didn't like it too much. AME, I wrote this as a core, so definitely I added for my portfolio. Again, good dividend payout. It's growing uh, the equity. And it's really good. Solid performance and consistent. SSRM, I watch listed it. I wrote, it needs to work on share repurchases. Return on equity sucks. And the PE ratio is too high. So basically, it needs work. Um, shares are really low that they offer, and it just needs work. Um, and you, I, I don't want to lose my money once I buy into it. So, yeah, need some work. Next up, GSV failed. ALOW failed. BVN uh, didn't like it too much, so I, I wrote that. OR failed. GSS failed. SBGL failed. So, that's it. That's all I have for you, and thanks for watching.